So in this video, our first step is to come take uh, this uh, image. So you right click on this image, click save image. Then locate your website folder inside the images folder and save it. It's called a uh, local logo coral dot svg so once you save it I've, I've already saved mine so inside your editor uh, if we open the images folder we can now see um, logo coral svg so now we need to go to our ours look at our own design this place is the brand look at the categories look at brand so let's go look for categories and inside we'll remove this text and replace it with the image and it's as simple as that we look for category okay look at it if we scroll up, we'll see brand. Look at the text we're looking for. So inside this text, uh, inside this ahref, the reason it's inside the ahref is so that it will be clickable. Um, if we go to Udemy, see it's a link. That's why we're putting it inside ahref. Then we can start coding. We can do um, img src. Uh, the source is images folder. Uh, we'll see a logo coral .svg coral.svg file so um, I will show you what it looks like first then we'll resize it to what we want so I'll refresh see it's huge uh, it's huge so we're going to reduce this to width let's give it a width of um, 100 the thing is if you give width sometimes you don't really need to give height because the browser will automatically resize it so you see, it makes sense. Let's compare with the size on Udemy. I think they are roughly the same size. Uh, let's try 150. Although I think the size is perfect right away. Um, 150 is too big. So I think the 100 is the size. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is to actually copy it and come to the bottom where we have um, the last things with the latest things we did. I think it's um, this one. This is what we're looking for in case you're lost we're looking for this so that beside copyright we can have um, udemy so right here let's see what it looks like works the only thing is that it appears that we need to give space between two of them let's see how udemy's own looks like okay they give space so we're gonna give space so here we're just gonna do class the class will do margin right five reload and um, that's it all right guys so I think by now we now have everything we need uh, the last cleanup we're gonna do is uh, what's the time okay cool last cleanup we're gonna do is this guy this guy is square but if we check that of udemy we'll find out that uh, it is circle see now to do that we're just going to search for it i think it's shopping if we search for shop that's it it's a shopping icon that's a shopping cart icon inside button right so if we if we want to make the button to be round we'll do rounded and let's go and check whether it worked refresh um well didn't work so the solution for that is uh instead of just rounded we're doing rounded cycle and uh if we do that and we get to our app we reload we have it it's rounded now and the other thing is that the buttons here the background to these buttons are visible but in udemy they are not visible until that you actually place your mouse so those are the tiny little things changes that you can effect on your own so but generally yeah this whole thing looks cool to me i think that's it basically in subsequent videos what we're gonna do is to work on responsiveness because many times you're working as a front-end developer they uh they want the app to be responsive look at if we uh, right click on any empty part of the page Once we right click, you see, and um, we select select any app from here. These are different phone screen sizes. If we select an iPad, look at it looks amazing on an iPad, super amazing. 
just like it does on websites super amazing but then the problem we will we start having problem when the phone sc the screen size becomes smaller than the size of a phone look at iphone 6 and 7 and 8 look at iphone 6 7 and 8 screen see it's messed up hot sale it's still trying to occupy one over four of the screen you see everything is mangled up and messed up look at everything is messed up so we're going to work on responsiveness we want to build an app once that is the power of bootstrap that you're able to build an app once and it's available everywhere all devices everything um uh, it runs perfectly well on all devices so that's what we're going to do and um, you will learn that so in the next uh, subsequent videos thank you very much see you